Airstream is one of those classic camper brands that's become synonymous with RVs. The Tommy Bahama Interstate Lounge lives up to this fine reputation with its unique brand of island-style sophistication and fine American craftsmanship. Light cabinetry and tropical touches add a real sense of relaxation to the interiors of this supremely luxurious motorhome, which comes complete with a mini bar on board so you know they're serious about you taking some time out. While on the road, it has seating for up to nine people with swivel chairs and sofas as well as onboard entertainment. The kitchen includes a dual burner cooktop and sink with an oven and mini fridge down below. When night falls, the entire rear lounge area folds down into a large bed. Being a modular vehicle means you can arrange the X-Bus in an almost infinite number of configurations. Flatbed pickup, passenger van, pop-top camper, the X-Bus can be all of them or something completely different altogether. All X-Buses come with the same four-wheel hub motors at 3.75 kilowatts continuous power, a battery array amounting to 10 kilowatt hours, a 220 volt charger, and a solar roof that can generate up to 800 watts of electricity per hour. The camper variation features a pop-top, sleeping quarters for two, and a compact kitchen with a sink, refrigerator, and hot plate. The all-electric X-Bus is so popular that the team at Electric Brands was the winner at the 2021 Red Dot Design Awards. Airstream is a company with a wealth of experience in designing camper vans. They've been doing it since the 1930s. The 2021 Atlas model is built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van chassis and sleeps up to two people in its luxurious yet compact interior. It doesn't skimp on the tech either, with a hideaway Samsung smart TV, a tankless water heater, and rooftop solar panels so you can stay off the grid longer. You might be forgiven for mistaking the B-Box prototype for a U-Haul or a utility van, but that's just what the makers at Advanced RV wanted for maximum stealth. Sacrificing style for space makes complete sense when you step inside. Built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Cab chassis, the roomy interior features a sofa bed that sleeps too, a kitchen with a fridge, freezer, microwave, and an impressive amount of overhead cabinet storage that runs along the entirety of the camper. For those who enjoy extended off-grid living, the B-Box comes with 15.2 kilowatt hours of onboard battery that's automated to turn on the van's engine automatically, recharging the power supply as needed. The 2021 Van Tourer was made from years of experience. You will find it to be high quality and function, then optimized with a thoughtfully designed rear package that offers personalized storage. The Rocket Camper White Rocket offers four full sleeping berths, and you will enjoy the flexibility that the lifting bed provides. A smooth ride is guaranteed with the Rocket Camper White Rocket when you choose the Rocket Mountain Package. It features an incredible suspension and awesome 4x4 18-inch rims wrapped with all-terrain tires. The Robetta company is packing a lot of cool features in a camper van less than 20 feet long, making the Helios a bestseller for the Slovenian company. The side entrance opens to reveal a smartly styled interior having a dinette table, swivel captain's chairs, and a double seat facing forward. Behind this is a wet bath having a sink and a cassette toilet. Across from this is a galley having a two-burner cooktop and sink. Large storage drawers are underneath, and roomy cabinets are mounted above. Below and next to the sink is a small fridge freezer. Rounding out the features is an almost queen-size bed at the back with adjustable supports that lift for underbed storage. Deflefs created their first recreational vehicle in 1931 in southern Germany. Since then, they've been designing and producing quality camper products for Germans, while exporting to the world. As of 2020, Deathlifts has been producing the Globebus T1, a four-berth, 19-foot motorhome built on the Fiat Ducati. The selling point on the Globebus T1 is the easy access bed. The fixed, transverse bed at the back is deliberately set low 
for getting in and out comfortably. Also included is a half dinette in the forward lounge that converts into additional bedding and a minimalist kitchen with a sink and three ring cooking hob. Another ingenious bathroom setup makes use of the limited space. What looks like a fixed wash basin on the sidewall is actually on a hinged bulkhead. It swings out of the way when you want to shower. A 95 amp hour onboard battery powers the various 230 and 12 volt outlets and an 18 amp charger is included to recharge the batteries. Solar and inverter options can be added as extras. For many people, 2020 was the first year that people seriously considered living out of a van. New Jersey-based company Ready Set Van has responded and recently ramped up production of their tentatively named Base Camper, a custom-fitted camper van built on the Ram Promaster. Each base camper is gorgeously detailed inside with commercial induction cooktops, beautiful cabinetry, an 80-liter fridge, and deep stainless sinks. Below the bed is the Base Camper Garage, storage that can house mountain bikes, kayaks, paddle boards, you name it. The base model features either a portable or composting toilet and an outdoor shower. In contrast, the upcoming Base Camper Plus features a deluxe wet bathroom equipped with an indoor shower. To keep the lights running, a 420 amp hour Tesla battery and 3000 watt inverter are charged by 400 watts of solar, but this can be upgraded to provide triple the power with the RSV Maniac upgrade. Next, we look at one of the leading North American manufacturers of outdoor lifestyle products. Winnebago Industries carries a number of recognizable brand names, and it produces quality motorhomes, among other things. We all know the name Winnebago, and most of us probably know that they have an extensive line of models to choose from. But for this list, we just had to pick the 2021 Solus Pocket. This smaller, non-pop-top variant also happens to be one of Winnebago's most affordable models. The Solus Pocket may be smaller than other Winnebago models, however, it still has plenty of efficient amenities to sate your wanderlust. Screen doors accompany the side and rear entrances, along with a porch light for convenience and utility. The interior is where you will find most of the goodies with this model. A dinette is present and converts into a sofa daybed. Also near is a multi-use storage area and a deluxe powered ventilator fan. The galley includes a laminate countertop, two burner stove, three cubic foot refrigerator, and a stainless steel sink. The Solus Pocket sleeps three and has a toilet and heating and air conditioning. So you know all your creature comforts will be met. The Bresler Junior 496DK is highly versatile. Only 16 feet long, this van offers versatility and highlights a lifting bed under the high roof. With loads of storage space to comfortably carry your gear, the Bresler Junior 496DK seats four and sleeps up to three people. This van emphasizes complete insulation and cladding of seats, high quality furniture, and S4 frame tinted windows. A kitchenette includes a two-burner cooker, sink, and refrigerator, while a bathroom, spacious bed, and an onboard battery complete the interior. The Naus BoxLife 630 is the Swiss Army knife of camper vans, conforming to all your needs at a moment's notice. Camper vans usually sleep two to four people, but the BoxLife boasts an impressive seven people that can sleep in it at any one time. If that wasn't impressive enough, the van's multifunctional furniture also allows campers to pack in bikes, boards, and other gear for the trip. Want more sleeping space and less storage? The Box Life has you covered. Do you need to pack in more gear but only have a few passengers? Then the Box Life can handle that too. With room to spare and ready loaded for adventure, there's no chance of feeling boxed in.
The Voyager X from Polish company Globe Traveler RV is a Fiat-based high-roof camper van that's been cleverly engineered to accommodate four people in comfort. The front has a dining area with a wall-mounted table. Behind this is a centrally located kitchen having a 110-liter refrigerator, a stainless steel sink, and a dual-burner cooker. Moving back finds an enclosed wet bath which has a folding sink and chemical toilet. Next to this is a full-size bed with ample storage below. Additional sleeping arrangements can be had using the fold-down bed above the cab. Portland, Oregon's Outside Van Company built the cloud cap on a 2019 four-wheel drive Mercedes Sprinter. The sliding door opens to reveal two rows of captain's chairs offering seating for four. Facing back finds a driver's side galley having a sink, an induction cooktop, and a 130-liter refrigerator below. Up top is a microwave and latched pantry cabinets running the length of the van. The battery compartment serves as a lower bed platform with movable custom upholstered cushion panels. Just above is a queen-size panel bed with a hinge section that folds down and acts as a backrest for the seating area. Below the queen bed is a large garage area offering plenty of space for any outdoor gear. There's also a hookup for an external shower head along with mesh bags on the back doors for extra storage. The Alpha Van 4x4 by the German manufacturer of the same name is no exception. The 24-foot-long off-grid smart home, as Alpha Van proudly describes it, sleeps a family of four in complete comfort, boasting a high-set master bedroom, passenger-side kitchen block, and driver-side wet bath, all while comfortably storing your gear, including bikes, kayaks, and other toys, with its flexible interior architecture. While most of the specs are still under wraps, the original Alpha Van includes a 210 amp hour lithium battery and 110 watt solar panel. We can expect similar stats in the off road edition. One thing Alpha Van did confirm is the inclusion of the latest iteration of its Mercedes powered intelligent home system. All the equipment and features will be controllable from the infotainment screen in the cab. Alpha Van plans to reveal all the details in the Dusseldorf Caravan Salon between August 27th and September 5th. Nissan has been leading the world in mass-produced electric cars for some time, starting with the Nissan LEAF car in 2010. Four years later, the small panel van named NV200 was released to merge the drivetrain from the successful LEAF range. Unfortunately, the ENV200 had an underwhelming range, only managing to travel 60 to 73 miles before recharge. In 2020, the four lithium power cell batteries were upgraded to 40 kilowatt hours. Now, drivers have a range of up to 174 miles, dropping to 100 when fully loaded. The British company Sussex Camper Vans have taken the upgraded ENV200 and fitted the rear with a surprisingly functional living space, featuring a two-burner electric stove, classic side kitchen, and pop-top with elevated roof. The EV200 camper van can comfortably sleep up to four people. The Oasis 540 Camper 2020 is built from the Fiat Ducato Euro 6D Temp. Sleeping up to four people, the Wingham Oasis 540 majors in comfort, ergonomics, and safety. Thanks to the small size and aerodynamics, driving comfort is unmatched, especially on long journeys. The furnishings are quite exquisite with an L-shaped dinette, patented longitudinal fold-down bed, a modern kitchen, and a rear toilet compartment. Another French classic, the Chausson 627GA, comes with a choice of either a Fiat or Ford chassis. The main feature of this motorhome is its large rear cargo hold having plenty of room for bicycles, chairs, and other bulky items underneath. Inside are two single beds above the garage which can be modified to a bigger bed if needed. 
Moving forward finds a centrally located kitchen with an oven, refrigerator, three burner cooker, and sink, while opposite this is an enclosed wet bath. Up front is a dinette with an adjustable table and L-shaped bench seating. Okay, we couldn't decide on just one Pleasure Way motorhome. With nearly 30 years of experience in the industry, Pleasure Way has really honed their craft and they present us with a solid line of vehicles to choose from. The Recon 4x4 is an adventure van capable of charting new terrain, all while keeping you comfy and content. One of the most interesting aspects of the Recon 4x4 is that freshwater storage was one of the biggest concerns when engineering this compact camper. And it is because of this that the Recon 4x4 sports 40 gallons of freshwater storage. Continuing on with the storage theme, the Recon 4x4 provides 124 cubic feet of storage space. Equipment accommodations are ever-present, and the L-Track tie-down system allows you to secure what you've stored, including bikes and other cargo. The 70x72 70 inch bed folds down while still supplying 54 cubic feet of garage storage space. You can even remove the cushions from the driver's side single bed to use as a workstation. The Recon 4x4 is also a self-proclaimed boondocking powerhouse with a 400 amp hour lithium battery bank, 400 watts of roof mounted solar, and a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. We have to agree with them. Space management is sacred and the Recon 4x4 utilizes multi-functionality throughout and this is extended to the bathroom as well. When used as a traditional bathroom, you will find a five gallon cassette toilet, handheld shower head, and ducted heat vent for drying. However, it can also be converted into a gear locker if needed. The Recon 4x4 offers a plethora of storage for those needing it. Still, it also provides transformable functionality, which I think we can all get behind. When he's not saving Asgard from the Dark Elves, Thor is back in Indiana building motorhomes for Thor Motor Coach. And he may have just had a bolt of inspiration with the 2022 model Sanctuary Motorhome built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van. The premium inclusions begin with a powered mechanical awning on the exterior, integrated lighting, mounted ladders, bike racks, and roof racks. They've added a powerful LED light bar to the front and swapped out the tires for off-road equivalents. Two different sanctuary floor plans are available. There's the 19P, which reduces the rear sleeping area to include a dinette and fold-out electric bed, while the 19L sacrifices the dinette for a fixed bed in the rear. Both models include a cassette toilet, shower with a deluxe curtain, and efficient water heater. With room to sleep to in comfort, the sanctuary name begins to make a lot of sense. Germany's Rocket Camper Company has the silver and black Rocket One billed as the perfect minimalist family van. The sliding door opens to the main lounge area with three removable seats on rails and a pull-down table behind the cab seating. A centrally located kitchen spans the width of the van, offering a cooktop with a folding cover that extends the counter area. To the right of this is a sink, while down below is a two-way refrigerator. Bathing is done externally using a shower nozzle that extends through a drop-down panel behind the sink. There's also a slide-out toilet hidden away down below. Behind the kitchen is a sleeping area having an adjustable full-size bed. Underneath is storage for any extra gear if needed. Along with this is a pop-up roof adding to the spacious feel. Canadian-based Nomad Vans builds these off-road vehicles with the whole family in mind, including the family pet. The finishes are typical of the brand with colorful cushions to complement the light wood cabinets. The interior can accommodate four people with a double bed over a large rear storage area and a seating area that folds down into two single beds. A dual burner cooker, refrigerator, and ample storage are standard features as well. 
For those washing days, there's an exterior shower hookup with a door-to-door -door privacy screen. The Toyota Adventure Ace from Yoda Imports is another innovative camper van conversion that slides into the ever-competitive luxury camper market. Yoda focuses on creative ways of converting cheap, old camper vans into modern adventure crafts. Based on a 1994 Toyota Hiace, Yoda Imports have added a new battery, two-inch suspension, a front runner rack, ladder, and a rooftop tent. These welcome upgrades help update this aging van to the 21st century, giving it a whole new lease of life in 2021. Fiat's Ducato camper van base is already hugely popular amongst custom fitters and DIY enthusiasts. But with the release of the electric version, it will be even more attractive. The Fiat Ducato base camper van is the perfect mix of compact dimensions, comfortable driving, interior comfort and customization. But it's the modularity which Fiat is most admired for. Every square inch of the rectangular load compartment can be used for custom compartments, living space, or storage. Even the dimensions are customizable with a choice between three wheelbases, four lengths, three heights, and eight volumes. Colorado-based manufacturer Antero Adventure Motors named their company after the 10th highest mountain in Colorado. It features one of the highest and most hostile mountain roads. Two of their off-road motorhomes have been designed to tackle the toughest of assignments, the Mercedes Sprinter-based Longs Peak and the Pikes Peak, built on a Ford Transit. Both models feature a patented Daydreamer bed that converts and folds away in seconds, a fully customizable seating and accessories configuration, custom interior lighting, powered awning, kitchenette, and hot water are also included. A modular cassette toilet is used, so a bathroom is not included in either model. Also standard is a robust solar system featuring 180-watt panels, a 2,000-watt inverter, and a 210-amp-hour lithium-ion battery storage. The Porest is the latest addition to the Hyundai camper van family. It offers an expanding home on the road with three beds, a bathroom, kitchen, and intelligent homestyle control. Despite what the name might insinuate, this versatile camper is anything but cheap. The name is a combination of Porter and Rest, with the Porter part of its name coming from the Porter 2 truck it's built on. The Porest fuses together the compact cab of the Porter 2 with a tall, comprehensive, and low-hanging motorhome module built for rest and relaxation. Up front, the poor rest houses two rear passenger seats that transform into sidewall benches around a dining table. With the push of a button, the poor rest performs its party trick, dropping the ceiling down to create a couch or bed out of the dinette, combined with a drop-down electric bed that forms an upper bunk. At the back, an expandable box slides 31 inches outwards to extend the rear bedroom into a comfortable mattress-filled space for two. The kitchen comes with a sink, worktop, standing height fridge, and a microwave, but no cooktop. At the same time, the optional compact wet bathroom includes a shower, sink with fold-away basin, toilet, and mirror. Pulling all the electronics together is the latest command touchscreen that provides direct lighting and heating control, along with water and battery monitoring. With its versatility, a wide range of features, and smart home-like controls, the Porest truly deserves the top spot on this list. For those desperate for an eco-friendly blast of nostalgia, mixed with some groovy art deco and space age tech, the Volkswagen Type 20 ticks all the boxes. Type 20 differs a lot from its combi cousin from the 60s. Instead of an air-cooled boxer engine, there is a 90-kilowatt electric motor and a 10-kilowatt-hour battery pack for short, emissions-free driving. 
Inside, Future Tech dominates the driving cabin. Holographic displays create 3D images on the dashboard, while an AI computer provides biometric facial identification for keyless ignition. There's even digital assistants that can decipher natural speech from the front and rear of the cabin. There's no amenities or inclusions in the rear, other than a hypnotically decorated sofa that spans all the walls. While it's just a concept camper for now, The German-based company Hobby has over five decades of experience making campers. The reputation of German engineering seems to be very important to them. And to live up to that, they know they need to branch out. That's one of the reasons they made Beachy. It's an affordable line of mini mobile beach houses on wheels with only the essentials included. The goal of Beachy is to create beautifully simple, stripped down campers that allow you to bask in your campsite scenery for an affordable price. And for today's video, Beachy has cooked something extraordinary up with their newest addition to the family, the Beachy 540. Differing from its sibling camper trailer models, the Beachy 540 is the first camper van in the lineup. Using the Citroen Jumper as a base, the aesthetics of the Beachy 540 are inviting, with a light and bright design that opens up the interior space. The interior features a white and tan sand-colored palette, inviting you to relax and unwind. Fabrics inspired by the warm expanses of the sea and embossings to match adorn this comfy van. The overhead cupboards you would usually find in a camper van like this are replaced with no-frills retention straps. Like the driver and passenger seats, the second row seats include swivels, and next to them is a dining table that can be doubled as a bed. The Beachy adds another row of seats by reducing the kitchenette to a sink, a slide-out gas cooker, and a fridge. Another lounge area is found in the rear, complete with a removable folding table and a couple of benches. Double the lounge areas, double the lounging. While it is odd having two, it does allow you and your family to fully enjoy the scenery at any beach or mountain spring. You can transform the rear lounge area into a double bed at night for double the beds. The Beachy 540 accommodates five and sleeps up to four, but if you have children with you, you can probably fit all five in the beds. Somehow, even with two lounges and sleeping areas and a reduced kitchen, this sandy soiree still manages to pack away a portable toilet in one of its bench storage boxes across from the kitchen. Headquartered in Middlebury, Indiana, Jayco has been making pop-top campers and camper van conversions since 1968. Their latest off-road ready camper van is the 2022 Terrain a bold Sprinter 4x4 conversion that borrows a lot from one of its main rivals. So, is it just another Winnebago Revel knockoff? Or is there more under the hood? Well, let's start outside. The terrain sits on a Mercedes Sprinter 4x4 chassis. Still, Jayco has added their own J-Ride suspension upgrades, including Kony Special adjustable shocks and a heavy-duty rear stabilizer bar. The terrain sits on BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2 tires for even better off-road handling. You'll find a 200-watt solar panel setup connected to a 3,500-watt inverter, a 48-volt alternator, and a 210-amp-hour lithium battery on the roof. Wind sensors and an LED light strip are built into the armless patio awning. Access to the interior of the camper van comes via the side sliding door or rear double doors. If you're loading in from the rear, a handy open gear garage is perfect for bikes, luggage, and supplies, especially with the L-Track that runs down the right-hand side. A 124 by 200 centimeter power lift bed bisects the garage space at night, but you're welcome to leave it in this configuration, keeping the space below as a trunk. While the floor plan inside is exactly like the Revel, the aesthetic and functional detail have a few differences. Running the length of the passenger sidewall is the kitchen block, and pull-out tops extend the expansive kitchen. 
The pull-out tops form an L-shaped preparation space complete with a portable induction cooktop, stainless steel sink, and an 85-liter refrigerator that can be accessed inside and outside the camper van. The wet bathroom slash storage space is nestled next to the rear bed, opposite the kitchen. Suppose you're not keen on using the cassette toilet and shower. In that case, removable bamboo shelving can be easily inserted to double up on storage space. Behind the driver's cab, you'll find a collapsible dinette and the J-Command control touchscreen, an all-in-one control station for the terrain's systems and features. There's also Bluetooth connectivity, with users able to control certain camper van features like air conditioning, audio, and lighting from their smartphone. Also on board is hydronic heating, Coleman AC, and a 12-volt water pump with filtration. When it comes to price, though, Jayco does advertise the terrain to start at $201,000. But any purchase must include their mandatory customer value package, bringing the total to $219,750. If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button, subscribe, and keep up to date on future posts. Airstream is one of those classic camper brands that's become synonymous with RVs. The Tommy Bahama Interstate Lounge lives up